Good day students, welcome to mathgotserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over question number two of our 2016 AP Calculus Multiple Choice Guide. In this presentation we're going to be taking a look at the use substitution or reversal composed with MX plus B methods. Alright, before we get started remember that the entire practice test can be accessed um, on the link provided in the description below so you can um, check it out so you can get all the problems. Now let's take a look at number two. The question is we're to evaluate the indefinite integral of 1 over 6x plus 8 dx. Alright, now to solve this problem we're going to be taking a look at two different methods. Um, the first method we're going to be looking at, method one, is um, the u substitution method. Okay? So you might wonder how do you know that the u substitution method is applicable here? If you take a look at an integral, you can break it up into two functions. So in this particular problem, we can write it as this has 1 over 6x plus 8 times 1 dx. And you ask yourself if the derivative of the inner function of the first function is a multiple of the other function then you can use u substitution okay so for example the the inner function of the first function is 6x plus 8 right so if you differentiate that um, you will get 6 dx upon differentiation now 6 dx is a multiple of 1 dx because if you multiply 1 dx by 6 you get 6 dx so whenever you have a scenario like this then you know that you can use um, u substitution okay alright now let's go ahead and evaluate the integral we want to integrate 1 over um, 6x plus 8 dx using the u substitution method now if you take a look at the options that we have you'll notice something interesting happening here you notice that we have um, this needs a plus C you notice that there is a 3x plus 4 quantity present in all the options so if you look at this integrand what you notice is that there is a greatest common factor that can be extracted namely 2 from the denominator so this integral can be written as the integral of 1 over factor out the 2 3x plus 4 dx now voila there goes that 3x plus 4 that reveals itself in the options that we have. So the bottom line is when you're solving the multiple choice questions on the AP exam pay close attention to the options because they give you clues as to how to solve the problem. Alright now we know that we can factor out um, coefficients from the integrand so we have the integral of 1 half times 1 over 3x plus 4 dx now this one half can be factored out so we have one half times the integral of 1 over 3x plus 4 dx now we're going to proceed with the u substitution process alright so the inner function is going to be u so our u is going to be 3x plus 4 so we need to know what dx is so this is where students make a lot of mistakes in finding the x now when we differentiate both sides we're going to have the derivative of 1 of u sorry is 1 du and the derivative of 3x um, plus 4 is just 3 dx okay derivative of 4 is 0 now you notice that du is 3 dx okay so we don't just replace this dx with du that's incorrect 3 dx is du if 3 dx is du then that follows that um, dx involves dividing both sides by 3 so divide both sides by 3 and that helps us to see that um, dx what we want is actually du over 3 so du over 3 is dx so you have to be really careful when you're substituting dx you have to make sure that um, whatever you got upon differentiation is solved explicitly for dx first before substitution okay so we can see that this is our u component the inner function and this dx is not du dx is du over 3 pay attention to that alright so this can enable us to carry out our u substitution when we do that this integral becomes one half of the integral of 1 over u 
and dx is du over 3. When you carry out your use substitution, all the x's should be gone. All you're left with is the variable u and du, as you can see here. Okay, we have another coefficient that we can factor out. So this 3, we can write this as 1 half of the integral of 1 over u times 1 third du. Now this 1 third can be factored out again. So we have 1 over 6 times the integral of 1 over u du. So another thing to keep in mind is that whenever you are integrating, factor out as much as possible. Simplify your integrand as much as possible because the integration process is complex and the simpler the integrand, the simpler the integration process. Okay? So I factored out all the coefficients, I'm just left with 1 over u. Now using the u, um, using the integration rules, we know what the integral of 1 over u is. The integral of 1 over u is the natural logarithm of the absolute value of u. So we have 1 6 times the natural logarithm of the absolute value of u plus c. To finish up, we're going to resub. Resub what the value of u is, which is 3x plus 4, back into our integrand, um, into our integral. So we're going to have 1 over 6 times the natural logarithm of the absolute value of 3x plus 4 plus c. Ladies and gentlemen, the answer to question number 2 is option letter B. Alrighty, as indicated earlier, we said that we're going to show you two ways of doing this problem. Method 1 is the U substitution method. The second method is a little bit advanced. Um, it enables you to carry out U substitution uh, problems of a particular kind mentally. If you have this mastered, you can carry out this entire integration process in, in seconds without even doing any work. Alrighty, so method 2 is known as the reversal composed with MS, MX plus B. RSA reversal of the known composed with MX plus B. Alright, so the name alone tells you the special conditions that are required in order for you to be able to carry out this process. First of all, the outer function has to be um, a derivative of a known derivative okay so if you have a function that's a known derivative the antiderivative would just be what you had to differentiate to get the outer function and then the inner function has to be of the form mx plus b okay so let's write down the formula first before we apply it here so this is what it looks like if you're looking for the integral of a known derivative let's call it f prime composed with mx plus b the antiderivative here, the indefinite integral, is going to be the antiderivative of the known derivative, which is the actual function, composed with mx plus b divided by m plus c. Okay? The nice thing about this formula is that on the AP exam, this problem always shows up over and over again, problems like this. So if you know how to exploit this formula, you can really cut down your time. All right. So in this particular scenario, we should remember that 1 over u is a known derivative. 1 over u is the derivative of the natural logarithm function, right? So we should know this. So uh, when we integrate this, we're just going to end up with that, all right? So we say, oh, we know that this setup right here is the derivative of a known. So let's, I'm going to adapt this formula to this particular scenario, all right? So if you're dealing with rational functions, one composed with mx plus b, just generally speaking, um, the integral, the indefinite integral is going to be the natural logarithm of the inner function, which is mx plus b, plus, I'm, I'm sorry, divided by m plus c. Alright, so in this particular scenario, f prime is 1 over u, so when we integrate that, it's going to be ln u, and u is mx plus b. So you have ln of u divided by m, which is the coefficient of mx plus b. Alright, so there goes the trick. Now, let's adapt it, apply it to this particular problem that we have here. Um, in this problem, um, I'm going to start from where 
we have the one half factored out. So I'm going to start from here. All right. So we have one over it's two thick. Let's make it thinner. All right, so we have 1 over 1 half times the integral of 1 over 3x plus 4. So if I want to do that, I look at this, I say, oh, this is a known um, derivative composed with mx plus b because the inner function is of the form mx plus b. It's a linear function. Okay, so the antiderivative, since I know that the integral of 1 over u is ln of the absolute value of u um, plus c. I'm just going to apply that here and our final answer is going to be the natural logarithm of mx plus b. Oh, let's, let's not forget the one half. The natural logarithm of mx plus b divided, don't forget to divide it by m plus c. And what is m in this particular situation? Our m is 3, right? So divided by 3, which is the coefficient of x plus c. And then we'll multiply these two and this 3 together. And then we have 1 half, I mean 1 sixth, times the natural logarithm of 3x plus 4 plus c. All right? And then that's exactly what we have here. Answer is option letter B. Thanks so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We will like to know what you think about this um, problem. Um, if you have any questions or comments um, about what we covered, or if you have any special requests about questions on the AP exam, just post it in the comment section below. And um, if you found this presentation helpful in your preparation for the AP exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel. We are adding more of these practice problems on a regular basis. And do not forget to access the entire interactive practice test at our website at madgoserve.com slash interactive practice tests, or just look in the description for the link. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.